All right, this is Crota give you, giving you an audio commentary on one of my own games. Um, I just had to do, do a commentary on this game as, well, it was a, such a fun game and such a good comeback. And then the the community, like the people chatting in the channel or chatting in the game was, it was just so much fun that I decided that I had to do this. So um, I forget what the name of this map is. Um, you see it's the normal wagon wheel there's six players starting positions this is a 3v3 matchup on us east and um, i'm doing the standard altar barracks farm build gonna put in another farm there so i can protect my peasants as they try to mine over here meanwhile my partner is also gonna go my partner is also human in the teal and i also have a partner it, um, in the teal as well that is orc curious position for uh a, a, for the ultra storms the ultra storm should probably be a little bit further out so that the blade master doesn't get stuck in the back there anyways here we go so we have double ancient of wars being produced by uh what the fair are you doing what what the f are you doing and then we also um sorry brain maps there and then we have another um uh, night elf player going ahead going to create a demon hunter most likely and an ancient of war yeah um, finally, we do have a final human player, so it's double night elf and a human versus double human and an orc. I'm going to be going ahead, I'm going to be doing a, a, a fast expansion on this map while also doing some power creeping. Um, Archmage really does not get that powerful in, in multiplayer games until level 2. So the Archmage really needs to get to level 2. The, the aura helps out the, um, the early game heroes so much. Additional bolts, additional chain lightnings, additional water elementals, additional wind walks. There's no reason not to get it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm almost at the two minute mark. I'm gonna have my Archmage gonna come up here. Now, anyone who is a human that creeps this map, you should Militia creep this side. The level six Rock Golem and then the two Assassins. If you Militia creep this side, you will be able to get um, a very good item, usually a Pendant of Energy or something along those lines, Belt of Giant Strength, um, plus six, uh, plus six to an individual stat, that, that's usually what's dropped on this side. So um, normally if I get a pendant of energy on this map, I'd like to get a, a Fire Lord second, but um, I do I do believe I get a Fire or a pendant of energy on this map, but I, I don't get a Fire Lord second. I'm gonna go ahead and have my Water Elemental, go ahead and tank this. The Assassins are going to try to take down um, or spread out that damage, unfortunately. So you are gonna have a lot of poisoned units my partner is stuck right there. His he has to go ahead and take down that burrow because his blade master is stuck, unfortunately. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take down this assassin, take down this final assassin, and I'm going to get level two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch back these um, three militia, and then use four new brand militia, uh, four brand new militia that go ahead and militia creep this side. You really don't need a militia creep this side. Um, if you militia creep this side, it's more of an added bonus and, and nothing else really. It's, it just gives you the ability to, to get your militia over there quickly and be able to begin creeping. Meanwhile, my partner is also double creeping with two water elementals. And, and I don't suggest that. Um, it, it, it really puts a strain on how many water elementals you can drop down later. So as you see, the militia are going to come in. By the time the militia come in, the troll berserker is going to go down. The second part of the creeping that I really like to do on this map is go ahead and taking out these goblin or these health fountains. These health fountains are very, very easy for a human player to take out. The main damage is going to be coming from these three particular units in the back. Go ahead and try to surround that troll. Oh, here, let me go ahead and show you here. Um, go ahead and try to sh surround that forest troll high priest first because it is going to be dropping an inner fire. And as soon as those units have inner fire, they're going to be much harder to kill as they're next to the, next to the fount of health. As soon as you have... Um, defend you will be able to just t take all that damage from that warlord without any issue so i'm going to go ahead surround the troll high priest take that down i now have defend so take down the high priest and then take down all the units that do melee damage and focus fire if you don't focus fire the fountain of health is just going to heal them completely and um, i i get very lucky here and i am able to creep out this whole entire creep camp without losing a single footman having all of my footmen at full life and getting a water um, an archmage at level three um, oh, I, I picked up a cause of attack plus nine, not dependent on energy. My bad on that. And um, remembering a different game. Here we have. So my uh, my water uh, my archmage is now doing plus twelve damage. Very nice. And my partner says, I think I think that he's gonna get rushed. And here we are. We here we have ancient of war rush coming in with a whole bunch of archers. And um, this is a very very good sized army. And I'm lucky that I already have defend tech. I'm gonna go ahead and take down this troll warlord. Troll warlord's gonna go down. 
and they're going to rush real hard. I'm going to pick up a Wand of Lightning Shield and a Ring of Protection plus two. So um, here we have Mass Pinging, and then look at that army. That army is just gigantic, and there's also going to be Footmen in there. Those Footmen are really going to be the problem for me, as I, I do have Defend, so those Mass Archers is not that much of a problem. I'm going to go ahead and come in across the map, and try to come in across the map, and I'm going to go ahead and speed up the game just a little bit because this is going to be a long commentary. It was a long fight. We have them trying to go ahead and try to get some additional experience, get a, some Ring of Protections, and then now we have the Riflemen of of Gutty coming in, and we have the Ancient of Wars in, and there's five Ancient of Wars along with Wisps. So this is going to be a problem. I come in and try, try to drop a Water Elemental, and I'm going to try to focus down those um, Archers, but those Archers are just able to... Um, there's so many archers that it's hard to try to defend and attack. I try to put a lightning shield hoping that what the F are you doing is not that good, but he does grab, he does go ahead and get his um, fire lord in the front, so unfortunately that was to my detriment. So I'm so here I'm just trying to focus down units. There's so many units here. I do drop another water elemental. My level, t uh, I am level 3, so my water elementals are doing a lot of damage, but unfortunately this army is just too much for us. I mean, um, they they really invested a lot into this early game, into this rush. I, I mean, if you look at this, um, I do have an expansion up and running, and my partner does also have an expansion up and almost nearing completion. So we know that if we can just survive this, we will. Um, we should be able to have a chance because they're they're just pumping out units like mad. Um, Tree of Age. Wow. How did, what the F are you doing? Is already at Tree of Ages, even though he's mass pumping archers. And same thing with Jami. Jami is um, at, um, checking the Tree of Ages as well. So this is just a very, very bad fight for us. Um, I'm trying to get in here. I, I need to pull back with my Archmage. I, and look at this. I have 2,000 gold, and I realize that I need to go ahead and build another barracks and try to just get as much as I can together. Um, I'm, I'm praying that my partner does not give up, because if my partner leaves, there's no way I can control this whole entire army. And meanwhile, um, PM test is now trying to build some additional units as well. There's um, the Archmage is, um, Archmage is sitting very nicely in the back of his base. He should probably be trying to focus down those Ancient of Wars that he can. And, and those Ancient of Wars are going to go down. Meanwhile, I try to come back in. I get clapped for all my hard work. And I'm like, you know what? I need to throw everything and the kitchen sink. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in Militia to try to um, um, bring in and um, even out this fight a little bit. So now my Archmage is at level 4. I'm going to be dropping Water Elementals. And a lot of water elementals, and I'm just trying to take down those footmen. The footmen are the real problem here. I, I'm there's just it, with the fend, my water elementals can't do damage, and the archers, um, and I can't get to the archers. I really want to just be able to focus down those archers. And here we have Gutty just getting getting raped right now, unfortunately. And the mountain king's gonna go ahead and try to chase me down. I am at keep, and I'm, instead of getting my mountain king second, I get the paladin second because there's just so much um, focus firing down on my archmage. And that does screw me up a little bit because um, now my Paladin is on F3 or F2 instead of F3 and that kind of messes me up a little bit and I, I mess up in my little bit of micro as I get my Mountain King as my last hero. I'm going to go ahead and try to take down these archers as well. I get my Paladin and, and I'm now going to go ahead and start building some... Um, some uh, priests and some sorceresses because I, I know that we need some major tech to go ahead and put this through. We do have Militia now finally joining on the fight. What the F are you doing is trying to run in the back of the base. He's going to lose that Beastmaster. And Ar my partner's Archmage finally gets to level 3 as well. I, I My Mountain King or my um, Paladin or my Archmage gets surrounded but it gets wholly lighted and then you're going to go have a scroll of Teleportation to head back. I'm now going to go ahead and produce another Sanctum, try to heal myself, try to get into position and um, Sorceress is now coming out, Footman still being pumped, and and I'm st and because I have double um, double uh, double mining, I can go ahead and start producing peasants like crazy. Now the Footmen here are doing a lot of damage, Art and Ancient of Wars are doing a lot of damage as well, and stay tuned for part two of this replay.